Hi guys, I'm back again with another uh, build review, another episode. So uh, what we got today is a really cool plane. I've been looking forward to doing this one. I know I said that I was going to do a couple other planes. I was got the uh, C-47 and the um, uh, FW-190. Sorry, I just had to look at the box, see what it was. Um, and I was going to do those, but uh, I got this in. I, I've really got to do this first. So uh, this is made by Max Jet. Really cool plane. Um, I also should mention, thanks to uh, Nitroplanes, they sent me a really cool banner here to uh, uh, block some of the light behind me when I'm doing the, the videos, so thanks, props to them. Um, got this from uh, Nitroplanes as well, also got uh, some Exceed motors and Exceed uh, speed controllers to go in this thing. Now I've already opened this up and taken a look at it and it has some shipping damage, so let me open it up, show you what's done to it. And um, instead of sending it back, uh, I'm going to try to fix it up and see what we can do. Okay, so here's the uh, main part of the fuselage taken out of the box. And um, you can see what happened here. Looks like uh, they dropped a bigger box on top of the box during shipping. Uh, so if you look at, uh, look at it from the front, you'll see that this uh, inlet is round like it's supposed to be. And this one's not even close to being round. Uh, it's, uh, uh, this part in here is broken right out supposed to be in just like that and um, it's got uh, some pretty bad wrinkles all the way down through about halfway down through luckily the back looks to be still fairly round so I think that's okay it's got wrinkles here now one cool thing that's gonna help me out here is um, where the motors go the fans that is uh, whoops plastic cowling fell off from the back of the motor um, so this is where the uh, the ducted fan sits, your motor and ducted fan sits right in there, and that's held on with some magnets, so that's that's really kind of cool. So what I'm going to do here, um, I talked to Nitroplanes, and they were uh, more than willing to uh, take this back and send me a new one because of the shipping damage, but uh, instead I'm going to play this like uh, it was um, a hangar rash. Say you're taking it in your car someplace, and... Um, I actually had this happen with one other plane. My seat that I had folded up uh, actually fell back and damaged one of my planes. So uh, in a case like that, let's say that something similar happened there, and uh, I'm going to try to go through and try to repair this uh, the best that I can and see if we can't get it looking pretty good, get that rounded out. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to cut down through here on both sides and take this piece off and see if we can't straighten it out. I'm going to be using probably use a hair dryer to do that. Um, I'll probably skip a lot of that uh, and come back with the results and uh, see if we can't get this uh, more round shape and see what it looks like after that. Okay, so I'm going to cut through this with a uh, razor blade knife. I like these uh, disposable ones. You can kind of break off the ends and toss them away when they get dull. Um, and plus you can go really long on this for cutting in through deep. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to try to follow um, this line right here. So at least part way, it looks uh, looks like it goes along with it. And then down through here. Now I'm going to cut this at like a 45 degree angle, and there's a reason for that. You do that on both sides, like this, on something round like this, and then it'll fit right back in, almost like a hatch. If you cut straight across like this, it would kind of slide back and forth, and it might make gluing it back together kind of a pain in the neck. So I'm going to cut this at a 45 degree angle here. We're going to take this right off. So I'm going right from the corner of that hatch. This is pretty stiff foam. Looks like I gotta go deeper on this cut, so I'm gonna start back over again. There we go. Try to make the line as, n as nice and neat as I possibly can. There we go. And I'm going to do the same thing on the other side. Now we could have tried to straighten this out without cutting it, but after looking at it, that's not a very straight cut by the way, but I think it should disappear pretty well once we put it back together. After looking at it, I decided to cut it because it would be easier to do one side at a time. So now we've got a piece here that I can work on, and then I can work down in here. And then hopefully we can uh, glue this back on and get that center piece back in there. 
So that gives us some working room. And um, it looks like there's some cracks down through here. So we're, what we're going to do is going to try to get this back into a shape that looks sort of round. Then reinforce this with some five minute epoxy. Okay, so what I did here is uh, I didn't even use the hair dryer like I said I was going to use. Uh, you have to be careful with this kind of foam. This is uh, EPS foam rather than the EPP foam. So uh, this is your regular type of foam that uh, most packing material is made out of and stuff. So I just kind of shaped it up by hand. I got most of the wrinkles out of it. Got it a uh, much more rounded shape. Uh, I got this more rounded. I put uh, epoxy down on the inside of the cracks here. Also did the same here. And uh, also got the uh, centerpiece back glued in. So um, now all that's left is to just put this back in place like this. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to glue one side at a time. I'm going to glue this side here and glue the centerpiece. And then I'm going to let that dry for a few minutes. And then I'm going to do the other side. And what that will allow me to do is to flex this just a little bit and hold it into position so that it, it falls back into the proper shape. So as you can see, it looks a little bit better than it did before. Uh, hopefully by the time we're done, it will be uh, even more round, and um, uh, the wrinkles and stuff, thankfully this is a flat black, so the wrinkles, you can barely see them. Uh, you might be able to see them if I hold this up here a little bit, but they're really not that bad. I don't think it will be uh, all that noticeable when it's all done, so I'm going to go ahead and glue this on, and then we'll take a look at it when it's all done, see the finished product, and then I'll go on with the, uh, the build, and we'll see how it flies uh, after we get it built. Okay, so there's the finished product. Um, let me get this in the light a little bit better so you can see. So that's the one that was not crushed, and that's the one that was crushed. So I'm pretty happy with the way that it turned out. It's not quite round, but uh, pretty doggone close. And uh, you can see just a little bit of wrinkling up here on top. And this is where I cut along the seam. You can barely see that and the same on the other side here so it fell all back into place really well the hatch for the access to the edf still works so i think that this will be okay so uh, i will be doing the uh, the follow-up video will actually be uh, uh, doing the build on this so see how that goes